This is Perry Smith, back with your City Spotlight show, where every third Friday of the month, uh, here from 10 to 11, we talk about all things City of Santa Clarita. And uh, we have two guests in our studio, Assistant City Manager Frank Oviedo and Director of Arts, Parks, and Recreation, Rick Gould. And uh, where we just left off was talking about... Uh, Frank, you work with a lot of the uh, the broader scope, the policy and the direction of the city, but, you know, one of the things that people maybe tend to take for granted out here is, you know, the roads and the medians and the beautification stuff. And, and talk to me a little bit about some of those things. On Sierra Highway, you were just mentioning, we're going to do some work there. And that's, that's really what keeps the city moving, right? Absolutely. You know, and... and over the course of the 25 years plus of the city's life, you know, the the idea is to really be transform the community into this vision of what the uh, folks who helped found the city, you know, really wanted it to be. And one of those things is the continue, con you know, the continual beautification of the community, and then the continued care of the infrastructure that we inherited and that we've built. And you know, Sierra Highway as an is a great example from Friendly Valley Parkway to Via Princesa. We're doing a full beautification that includes median landscaping, and so it really just has a transformational type of uh, experience when you go up there when you see it before and after uh, we've got another project on Railroad Avenue a medium project uh, New Hall Avenue medium project where we're going in there and putting trees and shrubbery and it really just changes the uh, the feel of that whole corridor um, but along with that those things are all great but if you're driving on a road that's in a bad condition, that's not really a good thing. Right. So one of the big commitments that this community has made and, and the council has made as a policy is to care for the roads, is make sure that the roads are uh, continuing to uh, to be cared for in a way that uh, residents will, you know, for years and years to come be able to drive on smooth roads. And that's an ongoing process. That's something that you just don't do overnight, but it is something annually during the budget we try to put, expend as much money as we possibly can um, given the resources that we have to, to pave roads, fix potholes, plan for the future so that we always have good roads, beautiful corridors with landscape medians in all parts of town. And, and that's a real a, a real positive that has been able to uh, be a part of what the city's been able to do over these years. It's interesting that you mentioned that kind of transformative process because you were here in 97 to 2002 and so at the 10 year mark, the 15 year mark, and now back as the city turns 25. Uh, can you talk to me a little bit about kind of, uh, you know, you've been at City Hall and kind of involved in the ground floor of a lot of this shaping. Uh, how, have, how have the concerns changed and how has the city kind of evolved in that time from your experience? Well, it, it's it, I was pleasantly surprised that a lot of the programs and the direction, and it does take 25 years to kind of see the end result, whether it be parks and recreation programs or roads and roadways. When I was here uh, back in the, the late 90s, the first time I worked in the city, uh, the Cross Town Connector was not built yet. Right. It was still in the planning phases. And so all these years later, I've come back, and now I can get across town in a very short amount of time. And it's projects like that that we continue to work on that has really transformed the city's ability to move traffic across town uh, just the medians the the look of parts of town I you know would at times I feel like I'm getting lost because I don't recognize some of these areas of town because so many they have roads. large mature trees over 10 years have grown to the point where you 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 know look at them and you think wow this is this has really a, a, been a you know, I, I, that's the only word I can think of. It's been transformational. It's uh, be able to move traffic along, be able to, you know, beautify corridors. And so, yeah, it's a lot has changed in 10 years, and it's all changed for the better from, from uh, my, uh, my perspective in management. Does it change the priorities of, of management as far as how you look at how you develop, how you plan that city once you start to see that maturation process of like, okay, first we just need to establish there's a major road, there's a major artery that we're going to build. And now it's you're looking back and, and is it more beautification and just kind of fine-tuning those things or does that still, you kind of do both at the same time? Yeah, you're doing a little bit of both at the same time. You're still continuing to make those efforts to build things so that uh, you, you can continue to address those efforts issues such as traffic, um, but then you also start looking at uh, some things, uh, you start looking at making sure you're caring for that infrastructure, and that's kind of what I was mentioning about the, the oh, you know, overlays and the repaving of roads and those type of things, is that you have to really start focusing on making sure that, uh, yeah, they look great today, but that you are planning today for what will be in another 25 years. And, you know, that has been a real emphasis on the, for, from the council standpoint uh, early on and will continue to be, I suspect, uh, uh, something that they'll look for long term so that we're not just enjoying it today, but the residents today will be able, 25 years from now, be talking about the same 
landscape corridors, the, the good roads and, and the traffic flow and all those type of things into the future. And, and as far as some of those, those projects and in scope, you're still looking at transportation, you're still looking at um, anything else you could talk about as far as, you know, what's, what's coming on the horizon or, or what the city council has kind of directed you guys to look at as far as, you know, looking 10 years down the road or five years even, or just, you know, in the next 12 months we can talk about? Well, you know, I think with a new city manager, um, you know, he's in continuous conversations with the council and the I think over the, you know, he's still in his first year. Um, we're still in some early planning phases and what we're going to be looking at uh, in, in the next uh, five and then even ten years from now. And so I think you'll probably hear more about that in the next 12 months or so. Um, but, you know, right now we're uh, steady as she goes and, and still constructing things and still uh, taking care of the infrastructure and uh, still, uh, you know, kind of on the course that we have been for the last uh, five, ten years. And Rick, based on uh, kind of your experience, when did you first come with the city? I came to the city in 2001. So so, and actually, Frank and I worked together for probably about six months or something like That's that right. before he moved on. So. Oh, okay. And what what about your your perspective on kind of the change and what you how you've seen the city evolve in that in that twelve years, thirteen years, twelve years? Yeah, uh, eleven years. Who knows? <laughs> I, I, I try not to keep track. I'm a journalist. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I agree. I, I agree with Frank. You see the maturation of stuff. That I I tend to see the trees more than and he than he may see it. But it really, it, the city really has matured. And I remember many corners where there were no buildings, and suddenly there's a you know. A, a very nice development or a shopping center and the same thing for parks I think when I got here there were about uh, 10 city parks something along those along those lines and Central Park was um, maybe a third of the size that it is today we're now over 30 city parks so that's part of the you know the maturation of Santa Clarita and I still I, I think in talking to some of my staff still say that we're in our teenage years or maybe adolescent better I'm not <laughs> sure exactly how you should say it but you know we're we are looking to the future and we're, we are trying to grow stuff and, and and it is a thought process that we go through on a continual basis awesome and we're gonna look a lot more at the uh, arts parks and recreation projects that we have coming up on the horizon when we get back from our commercial break this is the city spotlight show and we will be right back this is your hometown station AM 1220 KHTS